is amazing. Now this is not limited, Double but it's limited by... This is yeah. limited by its very nature yes. of the production process. That's fantastic. The other thing I like is that... It's a ceritanium watch, right? Ceramic and titanium. And what's great about this is also the crowns and all the pushers are made from the same material as well, as well as the case back. Yeah. You just nailed it and with that one though, that's so, yeah, no, that's so good. Well. And yeah. obviously the point was that crowns and pushes we always had to make from titanium yes. steel and these watches were they're ceramic. And yes. here now that allows us to machine actually the pushes, machine the crown that's and phenomenal. machine the, the clasp obviously in what's, titanium. What's the size of this? So this is a 44 and a half. The wear is a little smaller now. The wear is a lot yeah. smaller because of the aperture and because of the matte black look just making it look that little bit smaller. Wow. Um, it's impressive. The price of this one is prices. 13 5 I think. Uh, which currency would you like it? Uh, US dollars, for example. So in the... Where are we? We've got top Any yeah. uh, currency. Swiss francs. Yeah, so. Uh, so this, guys, yeah. uh, if you're watching out there... 15,000 Swiss francs, 46 US dollars. 15,000 Swiss francs. Yeah. Split second chronograph. Um, Invented by IWC when Richard Harbering was working there um, for the first industrialized research for the second chronograph. The most reliable also in the world. Right? And, then, uh, and the whole case is made ceramic and titanium, ceratinium. Not limited, but limited by, by the capacity to make them. That's killer. I love that watch. That's nice. Bruce, you want to, guys, you need this? And then this one is still work in progress. It's That's neither, cool. Neither the completely yeah. final dial nor yeah. the completely final strap. But you can see where it's going, colored ceramics, completely subdued Mojave Desert color code. Which actually, the reason why it's all finished is because I came late to the party by actually driving through the Mojave Desert, coming down from China Lake, and thinking, God, we're going to do these top guns in the subdued color codes as well. But that's great. And so we started out really late, but you know, it's work in progress. And we'll I love the sort of desert military kind yeah, of vibe exactly. to it. Or, so know. it's going to have a lot more technical strap on it. We're yeah. thinking about Kachuk inlay. It's going to have slightly yeah. darker dial on it, but at least gives you a, a sense of direction where this one's going to go. That's cool. The olive green one to follow. Nice. The another one that we sand colored ceramic. Pilot's right. That we find quite interesting is is the first use of hard gold. So this is a forged hard gold that's yeah. ten times more scratch resistant than regular red gold. Right. How, how, how do you get the uh, forging of the? I mean, what is the? It's the compression. It's oh, it compresses compression first. forging. Okay. Um, that makes uh, the material denser. Yes. And then we machine it afterwards. But obviously, you can imagine the big pilot's crown quite prone to actually knocking and scratching. Yes. The case. Exactly. So we thought it was ideal to launch it in a big pilot case and then right. to make that a little bit harder. Right. And then with a constant force tool, we on plus a little prints on the pretty ah, close. Ah, that's nice. Blue dial. Yeah. Limited to ten pieces in red gold, ten pieces in platinum. I went for the uh, um, the launch of the uh, the sidereal time with the yes. Scottish Forces game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was in this incredible. Uh, um, yeah, in Chile. In Chile. Yeah. Until we discovered that, that there was, was no it. alcohol surface. <laughs> <No. laughs> and plus, it's just an awful long way away. <laughs> but bla bla God bless Cara Huber. She smuggled in vodka and every on liter bottles. Cara, <laughs> 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 if you're out there, I love you, dude. <laughs> So this is gold that's been uh, forged and compressed first, so it's 10 times harder than traditional rose gold. It's in a big pilot. Uh, Torbjorn with constant force escapement, um, rearmed every second, I think, is that correct? Or, yes. Yeah, rearmed every second, so that's here. All right, and with a cool uh, 50 Prince uh, moon face look right here. And then the same piece of platinum. Wow, but the platinum, is it also compressed? Nope, this is regular just platinum. platinum. Very nice. Yeah, so let's look at. I'll move this. Maybe at the um, the main collection, the Spitfire. Cool. So the Spitfire. Oh, it's a coaster. That's what it's. For the first time. Right. Fully in house, launching caliber 32. Do we have our watch? That we can show with Chris as well. It's the. Oh, okay. Who's coming? Talking about the rig, right? Yes. Yeah. Coming with. Yeah. Can we try and get it, Chris? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, so we have a 39 millimeter automatic. Right. Um, with the in-house caliber 32. Yeah. 69 yeah. caliber chronograph, um, which is now down to 41 millimeters. That's that's really nice. And we do them on both the calf leather strap as well as, as the um, as a NATO. So what is the diameter of this? This is 39 millimeter automatic. 39. 41 in the fire. chrono. 41 in the chrono. That's great size for the chrono. And then Bruce, when you check that out. Guys, you need watches or what's going on there? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. 
and when you look at oh, it, the size is fantastic. It's, it works yeah. really, really well. Yeah. 21 is great for that. Fantastic. Phenomenal. And again, now in house movement, 41 millimeters. In house movement, yeah. 41 millimeters. That's sick. Really good. That's the perfect size, actually. You know, I love this. When the 37, uh, when 3705 and, and the steel counterpart was watched, was it this size? Thereabouts, right? Launch video, it was thereabouts. I think it was yeah. 40 or 41. Have to check. What's yeah. David when you need him? And then, ah, here you go. Bronze. Yeah. This, this would come without the red Spitfire okay. subline on the final one. Will, that will all of them the, remove the red? or On the chronographs, yes. yes. All the sublines will disappear on the chronographs. We'll keep them on the automatics. So it, it's just a bronze Spitfire. Is it also 41? It's 41. Also 41. Uh, green khaki dial. green dial with kind of vintage loom effect here uh, for the markers. And then uh, it's an in-house movement. And the, the red Spitfire logo you see here will actually disappear. So it won't be there for the production model. Bringing back the UTC. Here, so I don't know if you guys need them. Bringing back the UTC. But for the first time, the GMT UTC function is on our own in-house caliber 82 movement base. Right. And then again in the bronze case. 41 millimeter. 41 mm, millimeter UTC. So UTC for them is a universal time. Um, and it's GMT function. Yeah, it's a GMT function. function. So you just see the second time zone function, that little window at 12 o'clock. And it's synchronized with the date and the GMT function as so either way, right? Forward, yeah. Either way, you just went. And it's a, it's, it's, it's a 24 hour yeah. scale, right? Yeah. So there you go. And it's limited to 271 pieces, which seems arbitrary, but it's actually the um, number of the Spitfire MJ271. It's the registration number of the Silver Spitfire. Really? <laughs> Hence the 271 limitation. You can kind of push in it as you want. Then as, um, as the uh, talking piece of the actual um, Spitfire Expedition, yes. we have the time zoner on the 82 caliber automatic. We'll see here you have I that. think that's the watch that we have on the next cover. Sure. Yeah, so you have that patented IWC time zoner function where you push down and it moves the entire mechanism. You can very simply set it to right. the next time zone destination. It gives you 24 hour indication morning or afternoon in the subdial. Yes. And then it also does this without stopping the movement across the date line forward and back. So yes. you'll be able to just go across the date line and just automatically right. the watch movement never losing a second. Right. Um, the longest flight mission is engraved on the back. Michael Hogarth. Right. Yes. yes. But yes. you know, when you look at what he did, yeah. um, we took the basic idea. Yes. The mechanism is entirely different. Right. You know, so wow. The amazing. way we, we operate it without the, the pushes and all the rest of it was completely yes. developed. But yes, the principal idea. The principal idea of it, but you need to re really refine it, obviously. Absolutely. So uh, what we're talking about is the GMT function uh, on that watch, or the time, the world time function on this watch, uh, is um, in, was initially created by this guy named Michael Bo, with a brand name uh, Bogart. But they had to do a huge amount of like improvement to get it to function properly. And the particularity is that you're able to change all this without losing any uh, a second of um, accuracy. All right. All right then. Spitfire perpetual calendar. Nice. Double moon. This bronze, turned out well. <laughs> green dark. Yeah, no, that does turn out well. I actually like it. Yeah. Uh, I caught myself wearing this a couple of times. I've worn it in the office, which is actually completely patinated already because. <laughs> Shari is, is looking for one. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Shari, look at that. That's your watch right there, buddy. Time mechanic, what's up? We're done on the end. Oh my goodness. I cannot <laughs> believe it. It is you, your highness. <laughs> your highness time mechanic. <laughs> time mechanic. Nah, that's kind of that's turned out really nice. Where's the height? You can take uh, the watches and do close ups on them as well when we're talking. And then, of course, there's a story of the Frau uh -huh. Meta Katerina of Flensburg. Yes. Who met its tragic fate in 1748. Yes. Or thereabouts. Yes. In Plymouth Sound, incidentally, where I used to live. So, yeah. This is the yeah how did you end up living in Plymouth Sound? Because my wife is from Plymouth. Really? Um, yes. And uh, we lived there for five years yes. uh, prior to returning to Switzerland. So, so this is the IWC for the Rake Special Edition watch. Uh, 36 mm bronze case, no date, khaki uh, color dial, uh, and this strap from our friends uh, George Cleverly, um, George Glasgow Jr. and Senior, is made from 200 year old uh, Russian reindeer hide that was in a frigate, a Russian frigate that sank off the coast of England in Plymouth Sound. Which, interestingly, and by coincidence, is where Chris used to live when he was living in, in London. Yes. Right? No, it's a fascinating story, and yeah. Russia leather used to be the premium standard yes. of tanning in leather. Yes. And it's absolutely amazing that those bales were actually preserved in the mud of Plymouth Sound. <laughs> you can actually still use the leather. Exactly. What do you think, Walter? You like it? 
I love it. Did you buy one? Did you allocate one to yourself? Got you five, you 5,000 people that want it. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? I love it. Yeah? I love it. I think it's, it's absolutely for What I love is it combines that material story of the story. Yes. Story yes. Place, I love it. It's, it's, Thank you so much for this collaboration. I no, really, we really it's appreciate it. I'm glad to George, I'm very glad it's there you go, buddy. That's too much. GGR. <laughs> Simit, that's that's our watch. Thank you. Amazing. Brilliant. So yeah, that's it. So we have the the whole Spitfire seven references right. in the bronze and the steel yes. on the strap options. We have four references in the top gun and then right. three in the Le Petit Prince. I think the last one you haven't seen is that. Do we have the uh, PPC chrono, please, Petit Prince? <clears throat> Yeah, and I see you also will be uh, joining us on Tuesday for the event. Of course, it's a great pleasure. And uh, there's going to be some specials. So really? I look tests. forward to it. Yeah, I really look forward to it. I told you already that the one, the, the one you hosted last year was one of my favorite as well because it was the first time there was a sense of like real proximity with yeah. like you know with everyone. It was yeah, just yeah. Like, we're trying to do that. Yeah. Again. So that's maybe the, the last piece you haven't seen. That's the, nice. the PPC chronograph based on the 89 caliber in the Petit Prince execution. Of the that's very cool. Thank you. Chris, sir, always Here a pleasure. Thank you so Likewise. much. Um, I'll thank see you, you on Tuesday and also Wednesday as well. Yeah. So Enjoy thank you. Show. Really appreciate it. And again, thank you so much for our collaboration. We'll see each other on Wednesday for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Sir.